we want to add a row, but we want to assign it to a certain person right away. Of course, we could do this. We could insert a row above. We could assign this to Alice and have the task name and everything set and ready for us. But that's a few clicks. Let's do it in one click with a button. We're going to need a couple things. We're going to need an extension app script and we're going to need a button here. So let's create the app script first. Go to extensions app script. Let's create add Alice. We're going to assign Alice to a new row. So we need to do two things. We need to insert the row and assign Alice. Let's do that with spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot insert row before two. Now this might sound weird because you might say, oh, well, you want to insert a row after one. But if we do that, we're going to inherit the formatting of the header row. If we insert a row before two, we will insert it and assign the formatting based on the second row. So that's what we want to do. The second thing is we want to assign Alice. How do we do that? Do we click on that button? No, we don't. We can do this with active sheet dot get range. We want to go to row two, column four, I believe it is in the D column. Yes. And then we're only going to go to one row, one column size and set value. Alice. This text value is here, this drop down. Drop downs are just selecting a text value. So we're going to do command S. We can actually delete this one right now. And let's test this by running add Alice. See if we have any errors. And we do, I think we need insert row before. That's what we need, not rows. So let's click run again. Make sure we have no errors and go here and we have a new row. Fantastic. We can run this as many times as we want. There, a second time, and that's all it's doing, but let's assign it to a button. Let's insert drawing. Let's create a shape here of this sort of beveled fun thing. We can just write Alice here. Let's put Alice with green background, save and close, click and drag this over here to the right. And now we need to assign a script in the upper right corner of this drawing. There's a three dots. Click that. Click assign script, add Alice. It needs to be the exact same capitalization, the exact same spelling as your function. And now we have a button that adds Alice. Let's create another button. Insert drawing. Let's do one for Dave. Save and close. Click and drag over here. We can make this a bit smaller. Did see the text is a little bit too small, but it's okay. Go back to extensions app script. Over here, we can copy the function add Alice and just change it to add Dave. And instead of having to redo all of this script, we just write Dave in this set value, command S to save or click the save project to drive. Now we have add Dave, edit this assign script, add Dave, okay. Now we can assign Dave to a new task name. Really cool to add these to your Google Sheets to assign people or click on this drop, drop down menu. If you're looking to get more out of your Google Sheets, do more in Google Sheets, automate your Google Sheets, subscribe right now here to Better Sheets on YouTube.